What's up guys? It's Meg and it's that time of the week again for another daily tuck. Sorry we missed the past couple days. It's been my daughter's birthday. She turned nine. Uh, so I wasn't able to upload anything because we were very busy doing lots of fun activities for her birthday weekend. Uh, but I am happy to say that I am back. This Q&A is coming from Jay Wilson. This is a Walking Dead Q&A. Uh, he says, where do you think Morgan and Carol's storyline is going in The Walking Dead? Uh, Morgan killing again and Carol's loss of hope, etc. I can't remember where you're up to in the comics. Either perspective is fine for me. So uh, I am current with the comics except for the latest issue. I bought it and for whatever reason I set it down and I just haven't read it yet. Uh, I think sometimes when scary things happen in the comics I get really nervous and I tend to put off uh, reading the next issue sometimes because I don't want like a certain character to die or something like that. So spoiler alert, uh, if you're not up to date with the latest issue of the comics, but in um, not the latest issue, but the one before that, Aaron was stabbed by one of the whisperers and I was just like, uh, heartbroken sort of and I didn't even do a review over it and I that was just weird I don't know why I didn't but uh, I was really upset and um, sad and obviously we didn't know if he was gonna live or die yet and so when the next you know the latest issue came out I was like uh, I'm just not gonna quite read it just yet and so I set it down and I still haven't read it I'm gonna read it though I'm gonna read it <laughs> Uh, so I am current except for the latest issue of the comics so feel free to ask any Walking Dead comic questions as well um, as far as this question seems to be more geared toward the uh, TV show Walking Dead counterparts of Morgan and Carol obviously because Carol is already dead in the comics um, I think the biggest prediction right now we obviously nothing has been confirmed but um, it's very obvious that the kingdom is going to be brought into season seven of the walking dead and uh we have the guy in the finale that found morgan and carol um you know carol went off on her own trying to leave morgan behind morgan kept pursuing her um lots of stuff happened in those regards but she was you know carol was at a serious breaking point here where she didn't want to kill anymore but she just kept being forced to you know and i think that last moment when she had to kill all of those saviors and it just broke her i mean she just when you look at her she just looks so broken and not the carol that we have always known and loved um as for morgan uh he you know he he hadn't been killing at all and had been trying to like live like walk on the straight path and and avoid all of that and then in the finale he was forced to kill as well so uh, we kind of have these two opposite characters that are kind of almost you know coming and meeting at the same point together and then there's this glimmer of hope uh this guy comes out of nowhere and it looks like they're it looks like he's from the kingdom obviously uh if you've read the comics you have guessed that i'm sure there's been lots of talk on it um and so it looks like they will probably disappear for a while uh heading to the kingdom uh and uh, you know meeting Ezekiel and meeting seeing this whole other place we heard um, in the earlier parts of season six or the back half the beginning the beginning of the back half of season six <laughs> if that makes sense um, we heard from Jesus about other communities and we didn't really get an explanation there obviously he was referring to the kingdom um even potentially other places as well uh but so we've they've been hinting towards it uh i think as as for predictions for them obviously everything is kind of up in the air with these two characters here because neither of them are still alive in the comics right morgan's not alive i can't remember now morgan's not alive in the comics so their storylines are you know sort of hard to predict here but i really feel like being in a new place um away from the people that she cares about and loves carol is going to be able to have like a renewed spirit she's going to see this way of life here she's not going to have to always fight to survive it's a bigger community i believe so i think that she will be able to you know come to this new place blend in more um and not have to be a provider, be a fighter, um, be out in the world killing and surviving and, you know, having to make the hard choices like she's always had to do. Um, she's had a really tough, 
you know, past uh, year here. I mean, it's just been, you know, things have just been getting progressively worse for her. So I think it'll be great to see her in a new setting. Hopefully she'll have a new renewed spirit, uh, maybe even, you know, have a new way of seeing life. As for Morgan, um, I think he's going to stay there as well. I don't think either of them will want to come back to the group. I don't think that we will see them um, for most of the first, I, I think, we're not going to see them for the first at least few episodes in season seven. Um, I think the first few episodes of season seven are going to be focused on, you know, right after Negan, the Negan scenes, the Lucille scenes, and recovering from that. Um, we may get flashes of what Carol and Morgan are doing, but I kind of think they're going to, at least for the first couple episodes, going to focus on, you know, Negan and our group and whatever death we see there. Um, but I do think that we will for sure run into obviously when our group goes to the kingdom or you know when all of that stuff happens i don't want to spoil too many comic spoiler you know storylines here so that's why i'm trying to like be vague in what i'm saying um basically i think that we will definitely see them again uh carol will look a lot better or be doing a lot better as for morgan i don't know maybe they are hinting at them potentially having a relationship in the future you know he has really pursued like he feels responsible for carol he kind of set her on this path of not killing and yet you know now she's spiraling downwards and and it's not going as well as he had hoped you know so i feel like he really feels responsible for her and even though she's pulling away he's going to keep trying to help her and and walk her through this and get her through this and i could definitely see a relationship down the road i don't know if that's what they're trying to get at or not um the writers but i i definitely think we'll see more of them but i do think that they will become members of the community of the kingdom rather than our group you know when our group finally meets up with them again i don't think carol's gonna say okay i'll come back now i just really don't think that's gonna happen same with morgan i think they're gonna find a very happy place here at the kingdom and wherever their storyline goes from there i don't think that it will bring them back you know into the family circle of our main group here doesn't mean they're not gonna help out you know when the fight all out war comes doesn't mean you know that they're not going to participate in any of that but they're going to find a new home there at the kingdom and then you know eventually i i honestly don't think that carol's character is going to survive much longer even through season seven i really feel like they're kind of building her up uh only to you know she's going to come full circle and then i feel like eventually she's going to or they're going to kill her off she's going to die somehow maybe in the war i don't know Okay, I'm rambling. Uh, I don't really feel like you even answered the question very well. Hopefully I did. Hope you're okay with this answer. Be sure that if you want me to keep doing these Q and A's every day, uh, that you leave questions about either Game of Thrones, The Walking Dead, The Walking Dead comics, Fear the Walking Dead, uh, in the comment section, and I will answer uh, one every day as often as I can. Hope you guys have a great day. Happy Fourth of July.